Hello and welcome. In this overview movie, we'll be covering the basic functionality of the Layer Cake Studio Magic 2 panel. Once the panel is installed and there's a movie showing you how to do that, it shows up under Window, Extensions, Studio Magic 2. Now you can make the panel wider if you put your cursor on the side here, you get the two arrows, you click and you can drag it out. You can also collapse the panel up here if you want to and then bring it back. Because it's a Photoshop panel, you can click and drag and dock it with any of the other Photoshop panels. So I can go up here to the Layers palette, Release, and now it's docked with the Layers palette. And if you want to drag it out, you just click on the tab and drag it out. So I'm going to dock it back with the Layers. There are five different sections to the panel, Enviro, HyperZap, Reflections, Lighting Effects, and Compositor. And there are dedicated specific movies that cover the use of all of these different sections. So let's get started with the basic workflow of the panel. I have my photo open and I've selected Spring and Summer, intensity at 75%. You can move this slider anywhere you want and I'll click on Create. Now I could move the intensity slider back and click on Update. Now if we go to the Layers palette, we can see we've got a layer here that we can make adjustments to. We can change the opacity of this. You could even duplicate this layer if you wanted to, Control or Command J if you want to just double it real quick to see what it looks like. I'm going to back out of that. And as you can see, everything comes with a layer mask for easy editing. Working with layer masks is covered in the Enviro movie. Let's return to Studio Magic 2. You can also double the effect by clicking on Create again. If we go to the Layers palette, you see that you've got two there. So looking at the other modifier keys here, move up and move down, we'll be getting into that shortly. Start over puts you back to the original photo. The undo button allows you to remove different effects one at a time that you may have added to your image. So let's start over. And it works exactly the same way with autumn and winter. So click on create, change the intensity and click on update. And the same with winter. So let's bring up another photo. So let's take a look at some of your included presets under Compositor and this will allow us to show you some other features of the panel. Now there is a dedicated movie for Compositor which is going to go over a couple of things. So using one of your Cloud Creator presets here, you've got several to choose from. I'm going to select this, click OK and then click Create. Now I'm going to move it up in the sky. You can resize it, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to drop the intensity back a bit, click update. Now I'm going to add one of your bird presets. Choose one of the presets here. Let's scroll down a little bit and pick one of the presets. Click OK, create. So I'm going to resize the bird, make it a bit smaller, click on update. I'm going to move it over here and make it a bit smaller. Now I'm going to zoom in here a bit so we can see all of this. If we make the bird a bit smaller, click on update. And you can also use this motion blur here. So I'm going to put that on there, click on update. If I move the bird over here, we'll see how the move up and down works. If I click on move down, it's moving the bird down the layers where it's behind the clouds. Now I can click on move up and it'll move the bird back up again. And you can also see how the undo button works. If I click it once, it goes back to where we put it under the clouds, click it again, click it a third time, and then it's back where the bird started. When you've added several different elements from the panel to your photo and you want to move them around, it's a good idea to select Auto Select and from the drop down, select Layer. Now I can simply click on the clouds to move them around or click on the bird and move it around. I don't have to go into the layers to select that particular layer. We will be getting into more about auto select and working with layers and groups in other tutorials. The panel also comes with a very thorough PDF manual that you can scroll through to find exactly the section you want. So for instance, if I wanted to go to HyperZap, I could just double click on this page and it's going to take me straight there. Now if I want to go back to the table of contents, I just double click on any page number here and it's going to take me straight back to the table of contents. Let's return to Photoshop. And I'd also like to inform you about Layer Cake's first panel, Studio Magic, which allows you to cut anybody out of any photo, put on a shadow, and paint with light. 
The two panels really complement each other and it's very convenient, especially when you get into the compositing part of Studio Magic 2, to be able to quickly cut somebody out and put them into any background. And you can find out more about the first Studio Magic panel on Layer Cake's website. That wraps it up for this tutorial. Thank you.